can't come in yet. No? So it's taking pictures. You can't come in, I'll say it. You can't. I'll send it down. Please mind the door. Johnny Fleet Mayor, dear. This fleet business is. We have reporters. Well, hey, we're here. Muzzle tough. speak to each other in this lift very much. Sometimes, when we know each other. <laughs> yeah. Podium floor. Ground floor. Got a sauna and jacuzzi in the flat. You know, just the basics. Really enjoy it. It seems to be a really nice flat. Sorry, excuse me. Got a sauna and jacuzzi in the flat. <laughs> it may seem unbelievable in this block, but there's a the old flat was really nice. Have you had a few too many beers tonight? <laughs> I've had a few because I um, quit my job yesterday. <laughs> I'm going to be starting a new job in a couple of weeks. I've been out celebrating tonight. Now get that up for me. Yeah. Do it over here. Yeah, because I had what you've had. I've had it done three times. Yeah, you're angioplasty. Yeah, I've been under diamond. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Did you perm? No, I just had it cut the last week. I had it permed ages ago. Yeah. I had it cut. I'll see, see, see you there. I'll see you there. I'll see you there. Well, it was okay today. Good. Thirty-nine pounds net. Opposite Starbucks. Hopefully they're going to close very, very soon. Six months or oh, so. Oh yeah, yeah. And well, lots of Italian, French. Or... Starbucks, where we had to manage opposite Mr. Coffee. Yes. They're opening two hundred Starbucks in London this year. Amazing. You've got to say every time you say Starbucks, you've got to go Starbucks. Yes. Like that. <laughs> Oh, oh no, 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 I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you please, with that awful please. word. <laughs> Where are you going to now? I'm going to see my wifey. To see who? My wifey. Your wife? Well, it's another word for a girlfriend. You're in love. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Just going out to see what I can do tonight. Strong aftershave again. I know. You know, me being a single man. See what's gonna to happen tonight, am I? You know, see what's going around in London tonight. Might as well have a go.
are you? You alright? Yeah, you wanna you want to eat something? What? You want to like you like to eat something? I want to claim it. Oh banana. Banana would be nice. Yeah. Banana. Banana. Okay. Take it. Alright? Thank you. Thank you very much. My family, my family. Give me my face. Jamie, we were right. Lily, do you remember when you first moved to the block? It's 26 years ago. God reckon that what year. Do you remember what it was like? It was paradise. Now I got sores from upstairs, drilling and banging. Me see my shit around them here. I, mean, I can't get out of here. It means I've got to go an old age home. That's where I'll end up. It's the world's worst here. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. What, where are we now? Disgusting, isn't it? it? Must be animals, actually. Oh, the pot of Bye, darling. Bye bye. Did you have your lunch dinner? I didn't pull. I am very hammered now. I've had a good <laughs> I've had a good night though. I just had a curry in Brick Lane. Brilliant curry. I have enjoyed myself tonight. Hopefully it's gonna be even better tomorrow. <laughs> See, they've given you a chair. <laughs> what did you dream about last night? Oh, good Lord, I don't know. I can't remember. Did I dream? No, I can't think. I think I did have a little dream about some um, dog that was drowning. I think it was a um, golden retriever. Oh, oh. That's strange. Sorry, wait. What happened in your dream? You, you came forward and I said, go backwards. <laughs> Can you tell me what you've been thinking about today? Oh, just happy for it. It was a beautiful day. I was thinking how great it is to be alive. <laughs> Are you serious? Very. That's good. <laughs> What's been on your mind today? Um, not that really, just when I've finished work. I've just finished work. And um, I'm just watching the clock go by.
Last time I saw you, you wouldn't let me in the lift. Who, me? You tried to stop me getting in the lift. Who? You. I never. I might have been wrong. So you're drying out at the moment? No. Uh, How do you do that? This is what I do in the morning. Doctor will not help me. Actually, you put me thinking when you asked me what, what do I be thinking of. What did you think? Like you asked me what was on my mind during the day, and then I thought, well, nobody asked me really ever before what I was thinking about. And then I started to think about all sorts. But at the moment, I'm thinking how I get by one day after another because I got a bit of a head cold. It's sort of taken its toll on me. This problem is a lift now. Pardon? There's a problem. Lift. No problem with that. lift again. <laughs> so what motivates you to want to stand in lifts for 10 hours a day? Is it um, the confined space you, you like or you get behind this camera? Tell me, why do you do this? I was interested to, uh, to ask you what you remember about your childhood, what was your best memory from childhood? Uh, I recall a competition in front of an audience and uh, I was the only boy apparently, there were loads of girls. <laughs> Sylvia, what motivates you to get up in the morning? In London, money. In Italy? In Italy, a pleasure. Uh, sunshine in food. Um, People, oh. girls, maybe uh, <laughs> sometimes uh, uh, plants, boys. I don't know. Okay, right. So, oh, so you're telling me you're happy with the way your life's going? Yeah, most of the time. Yeah, I've been very fortunate. When you're not happy, what do you what do you think about? I'm very seldom unhappy. So it's so seldom I'm unhappy that I don't even think about it. In actual fact, I'm very rarely unhappy. Do you, have, do you have religion in your life? Yeah, but not constant every day thinking about it. I'll see you. What have you been thinking about? Nothing. I just really I'm going to see my my ex in a minute. Going to see your ex? What happened? Ground floor. Yeah, no, we, no, we kind of broke up on the day after Valentine's. Oh no. Is a family unit stressing me? Right. Now, what do you want now? How was the dance, Lily? Marvellous. What happened? Well, I was the only one that went. What happened then? Well, we were there for about an hour and a half and we come home. But it was very, very nice, nice dance band and nice people. But uh, I was the only person. I think it's disgusting for my whole block that I should be the only one that turned up. Mind, 
I used to be very famous at one time. See, if I had a model here, then I can show you. Here, I can bring out a dryer, scissor and comb, and show it to you as a chair. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I'm going there. Have you ever been in love before? No. What do we know? <laughs> no, I'm single. Is it something you ever wonder what it would be like then? Um, I suppose so, oh, yes. Oh. But I, <laughs> no. Actually, I'm, I'm a, a religious sister. <laughs> Anyhow, bye bye. This is for you. Can you see it? Can you? This is for you. Oops. Ah! What is this? How to say the rosary? Mm hmm. You say the rosary? No. Um, Somebody on there. Oh, very good. How yeah, many do you think we've got? Twenty. Just a few. I don't even think we've got twenty yeah. Jewish people here anymore. Yeah. Oh, I was counting the white people the other no. night when I couldn't Ooh. sleep. And I think if we've got 45, it's a lot. And the rest are um, um, a mixture. mixture. Yes. No. How do you do? <laughs> I want to go. You want chips? So how are things today, Morris? Happy day. I'll show you. This, this, is, from, this is from today. And what's that for? For your heart? Yeah. Did wife get a hot dinner waiting for you when you get home? Oh, you're phoning this, am I right? Pratt on, I fell for that. And oh, it doubled your nose. It killed me. What is it? How's your breathing at the moment, Jim? Not good. That's what I said, and that packing thing's caught me with the cigarette now, isn't it? You're on the oxygen still? Yeah, I have to. I'll be on that for rest. While the knacking yard greets me. You asked me about religion before I went out. I did it an injustice. Because you asked me, I can't remember what you asked me about my religion. Have you had a religion in your life? Yes. And I said, I sort of dismissed it as if it wasn't an important factor, but in actual fact it is the most important factor in my life. Because I think everything I do within my life is helped along with divine intervention. And if I am down in the dumps, I only have to turn to him and he pulls me back up by my heels. Mom and Dad were both religious. Uh, they were Christians, and both of them were very special. They died in 98. Both of your parents? Both of them, yeah. yeah. Do you mind my asking them how the hell they died? Yeah, my father died of um, a heart attack, and my mother died of septicemia.
And that will happen in the, in the space of a year? Or? That happened in the space of two months. Peter, what's the best thing you remember about your childhood? The best thing? The best thing? I've seen a golden eagle. I'll be up still and all my trees up here. Oh, it's a big, massive big thing. Beautiful. You can not see it close up. You have to stand way back with the binoculars watching it. I need to get fags. I was sent to hospital afterwards um, for about three months or so. I was suffering from paranoid schizophrenia and I was hearing voices um, all because of the death of my parents. Tonight? Uh, not a lot tonight. I went down to the internet cafe at um, Tottenham Court Road mm. just to check up on a few friends and a few emails and see what's going down. Um, looking at maybe I've like got a week off coming up, end of this week, so it's gone holiday or something. So, not a lot tonight. Um, hopefully, tomorrow's going to be more bad day because I'm going to Croydon tomorrow. So, when will you be finished with all this? Soon. Still raining. How do you do? Hi. All right? Yeah. You want to eat uh, betel nut with leaf? Yeah? Yeah. Like this, I'll follow it. <laughs> I think uh, 